exciting. It has to do with the relationship that I have with my son, Jack. I've kind of lost track of him, so I go to Moscow. Dad! Dad? I'm just a pain in the ass. This is it. You're a spy. <laughs> In your phone. It's a two-year contract in that phone. John thinks Jack thinks he knows it all, and Jack thinks he knows it all as well, and, you know, they lock horns, they butt heads. I guess you've done this before. Not encouraging. Well, I try to stay away from telling him or giving him advice. John, just pull it. One, three, one, two. Go. <laughs> You're not gonna cry, are you? We got along really, really well, and I think we had a huge amount of respect for each other. What is this, a pirate gun? It's old school. Mm -hmm. Like you, right? Right. Jack does things by the book and follows the rules, and my character seldom follows the rules and uses whatever is at hand to try and solve the problem. Quit being a cop, John. You've done enough damage. Well, maybe you missed the whole part back there where I saved you from a whole bunch of Russian bad guys. Knock, knock. I don't think it's such an uncommon theme in life to kind of go through an extraordinary circumstance and reach new ground with people. What the hell are we gonna do? Do our thing. Our thing? Why don't they kill all the scumbags? They just seem like family. We need a car. Got a boy. Need a hug? I'm not a hugging family. Damn straight.